habits is going to be our central topic. So I would like to uh, share with you this uh, phrase. It says, people do not decide their first. They decide their habits and their habits decide their future. So uh, we said that we are going to talk about uh, habits, okay? Here the, the phrase is, people do not decide their futures. They decide their habits and their habits decide their futures. That's the phrase. Uh, Cristina Nunez, what do you think about this? Do you agree? Uh, uh, good, uh, good night. Um, Hello, good evening. Uh, good evening. Uh, sorry. Um, so I, um, I, I feel is correct. Um, la, bueno, las decisiones se basan en los hábitos, el, 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 los hábitos, del, las decisiones en un futuro se basan en los hábitos. Eh, kind of like that, they say that people do not decide their futures. la gente no decide su futuro, they decide their habits, deciden sus hábitos, and their habits decide their futures, y sus hábitos deciden el futuro. What do you think? Mm, uh, yo, yo pienso que es correcto. Eh, los hábitos marcan el futuro. Ok, pretty good. Thank you very much, Cristina. All right. So, anybody else? Miros, what do you think about it? Um, sorry, I, I listen little information. <laughs> uh, it's okay, don't worry. Uh, you, we are talking about this phrase, people do not decide their futures. They decide their habits and their habits decide their futures. Do you think it is correct? Um, maybe um, the, the good habits is is good for formation or a future best? Mm -hmm. That's it. Hey, thank you very much. All right. So, uh, Betty, Betty Gomez Farias, how do you uh, like, what do you think about this phrase? Oh, hello, everybody. Um, Yes, I'm. I think the the habits with will form our future. Now I not decide what what happened with my life, but but I I have to. No, ya se me fueron las palabras. <laughs> it's okay, Betty, don't worry. It's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but yes, yes, I understand your point. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Corina, please talk to us about your opinion. What do you think about this? Well, good night to everybody. Um, I think it's uh, right. Um, uh, we we um, make change in our life if the things things a long time ago are not working. Uh, it means we need um, change, change and break habits for be um, no for have a better life. Hey, that's great. Thank you very much, Corina. All right, Dolores Guadalupe, what do you think about it? Uh, hello. Hello. Um, um, the habits um, we have 
uh, makes who the people we are. That's it. Yes. Thank you very much, Dolores. All right. <laughs> Jose Mendoza, what do you think about it? Hi, teacher. Good, night. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I think the that phrase is uh, is strong um, for our lives. Uh, I think uh, this phrase build everything like uh, our minds and uh, and bodies too. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. So, what about Karina Jasmine? Please, for uh, your opinion. Hi. Um, I I think um, uh, the habits um, is very important. Um, híjole. Pues sí son muy importantes porque es algo que nos definen muchas cosas. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, Karina. All right, Ángel, what do you think about it? Ángel. Sorry. Uh, sorry. What is the question? Uh, we are talking about the phrase that we have in the screen that says people do not decide their habits, their futures, I mean. They decide their habits and their habits decide their futures. What do you think? Is this correct? Uh, um, I think that this is correct. Uh, the the problem is the people no don't no sé cómo se dice planear don't plan don't plan uh, is all <laughs> <laughs> that's it thank you very much Angel. <laughs> all right so M A G Mag uh, can't you talk to us about your opinion? Hello, Mac. Podría repetir la pregunta? No escucho bien. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, we are talking about the phrase that we have in the screen. It says people do not decide their futures. They decide their habits and their habits decide their futures. What do you think about it? I, I think uh, the people do not have discipline and in um, and don't Plans. planes. Uh -huh, don't make plans. All right, thank you. Thank make you. Plan. Uh, please, by the way, Mark, please tell me what's your name? Uh, my name is Miguel. Miguel Angel. Miguel Angel? All yes. right. Thank you very much, Miguel Angel. All right, so let's go with Miguel A G H H. Miguel, hello. Miguel. Bueno, sí. Yes. Ah, uh, we have Miguel A G H. Did you also? Es que tenemos dos, uno eres tú, Miguel Ángel, y tenemos otro, Miguel A.G.H. ¿También eres tú? No, no, no sé quién sea Miguel. Ah, all right, thank you very much. 
Miguel, hello, can you listen to us? Hello? Hello, Miguel. Welcome. Good night. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. What, yeah, what do you think about the phrase? I think that the people must study for have exit in your life. The study is the device uh, for the exit. For success. Hey, pretty good. All right, thank you very much, Miguel. Now let's go with Rafael Sandoval. Please, Rafael, talk to us about the phrase. Do you agree with that? Hello, everyone. Okay, the question is, people do not decide their features. They decide their habits and their habits decide their futures. And in my opinion, the habits, porque the habits, have the people and the people decide the habits. The, the question of the situation is uh, the bad decision of good decision and the habits in the people. Thank you very much, Rafael. Yes, you're right. Whenever we don't make good decisions, of course, our future is not going to be what we wanted to. All right, thank you very much. So, Misael, please talk to us about your opinion. Hello, Misael, are you there? Hello. All right, so it may be a problem with his microphone. Okay, let's talk to Patricia Sandoval. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. I'm fine, thank you very much. So please tell me, what do you think about habits and the future? Well, I think that it's very important to start good habits. Maybe we don't know the, our future, but we can be sure that the person who start good habits have more good opportunities of make um, something better. That's For example, it. My, have, my family always start plans for rich goals. Uh, and in our lives, it's a way for half a better future. Mm -hmm. To establish objectives. Yeah, establish. Okay. Hey, that's uh, great. Okay, I'm learning. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Teresita de Jesus, how are you? Tere, hello. Can you listen to us? What's your opinion? Eh, Teresita, can you listen to us? Are you there? Problem. <laughs> uh, it's okay, don't worry. All right, let's wait for, for you. Uh, in the meantime, look at this. Here we are going to work a little with frequency adverbs, okay? Okay, I, I think the habits 
are very important for the size and part of future. But uh, our things, uh, how the culture, the police and economy, um, but the people decide with do action and decision the future. Hey, that's great. Thank you very much, Yes, I agree with you. All right, so look at this. Here we are, some frequency adverbs. Uh, as far as we can see, they are the general ones. For example, here we have always, usually, sometimes, often, never, once, twice, three times, several times, every day, every Sunday, every year. Do you have any doubt about the meaning of any of these words? Excuse me, for me. I don't understand. I don't understand. Uh, okay, uh, do you want me to speak more uh, uh, clearer? Okay, uh, I, I don't understand the uh, question. Uh -huh. All right, the question is this. Here we have the frequency adverbs. Do you know all of this? What does always mean into Spanish? Um. Help. <laughs> Always es siempre. Thank you. What about yeah. usually? Usually. You sometimes. Uh, a veces. All right. Yeah. Often. Por lo regular. A, a menudo. That's a it. Never. Nunca. Nunca. Once. Una vez. Great. Twice. Dos veces. Dos veces. Three times. Tres veces. Several times. Varias veces. Varias veces. Every day. Todo, todos los días. Todos los días. Great. Every Sunday. Todos los, todos los domingos. Wow, good. Every year. Todo el año. Años, cada año. Hey, claps for you. You're very good. All right. You know what? Here we have uh, some exercises. We are going to work with them. But please do me a favor. We are going to use the notar. We are going to select what is the correct uh, sentence. But please mark them. Uh, do you remember how to use a notar? ¿Se acuerdan cómo dijimos que se usa anotar? Yes. Vamos a, la, a, a los puntitos que dicen opciones. De ahí buscamos anotar y nos aparece el submenú y vamos a poder marcar cuál es la respuesta que creemos correcta. All right. Remember that the frequency adverb, the adverbs, I mean, have a, a structure. The frequency adverb for verbs of action are going to be used with, before the verb to, or, no, I mean, before the action verbs and after verb to be, right? So what about number one, A or D? A. A. Anybody else? Come on, kids. Hey. Right? Okay. Hey. Wait to, vamos a marcar lo que les parece si lo marcamos con la, la herramienta de anotar. Podríamos, no sé, hacerlo cerrar en un círculo. Podríamos estamparlo. Podríamos la flecha. Podríamos dibujarlo. Okay, however you may. Excellent. That's it, pretty good. What's the correct? Minus. 
Ready? Okay, teacher. Okay. Well, the correct is this one. There... No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my mistake. The correct is... A. Uh, no, I don't think so. The correct is D. Jim is never at work. ¿Se acuerdan que dijimos que los adverbios de frecuencia, cuando usamos el verbo to be, se utilizan después del verbo to be? Y cuando, ajá, y cuando son verbos de acción, no se trata de to be, entonces sí lo podemos poner antes del verbo. ¿All right? Ok. Ok. Now let's go with number two. What do you think? A, B, C, or D? Mark it, please. Ok. Ok, let's mark the answer. Come on, kids, don't be shy. Oh. Don't be shy, come on. Vamos, chicos, no sean tímidos, don't be shy. Hello. <laughs> All Hello. right. Hey. Hey. Okay, the correct. Ta B. Usually have lunch at 12 o'clock. Es un verbo de acción porque no vamos a hacer el adverbio de frecuencia y luego el verbo. All right? Okay. okay. Let's go with A, B, C, or... Okay. okay. Is okay. Oh, um, Sorry, I am trying, but uh, I do a line. Sorry. A B line. Sorry. It's okay. Don't worry, Patty. Uh, teacher, tengo una pregunta. Sí, Cristina, dime. Eh, cuando sea en lo que decía del verbo to be o en lo que es usar have, ¿siempre va antes lo que son los adverbios de frecuencia? ¿Siempre van a ir antes? ¿Solamente cuando sean de frecuencia? Ajá. En la única vez que el adverbio de frecuencia va a ir después el verbo cuando están uh -huh. hablando eh, de verbo to be o si no son adverbios de frecuencia si son expresiones del tiempo como por ejemplo once twice several times every day every Sunday esas van al final del enunciado ah ok pero esos no son adverbios de frecuencia son expresiones de tiempo cuáles son los adverbios de frecuencia Usually, generally, never, sometimes, often, frequently, ever. Okay? Okay. Thanks. Okay, my pleasure. Let's go with number three. A, B, C, or D. Mm. All right. Yes, let's mark it. Good. Come on. Excuse me, teacher. How um, the market? Uh, con la herramienta anotar, que está, vas a buscar la que dice opciones. Está cerca de donde dice, estás compartiendo la pantalla de Maggie Argot. Ok, vas a encontrar ahí opciones. Y en las opciones dice anotar. Si das clic en anotar, vas a encontrar la herramienta para hacer todo este tipo de marcas, dibujos, texto. All right? All right. Thank you, teacher. Excellent. Okay. So, yes, good. Wow, good. All right. What is the answer? The answer is ta -da! C. Excellent. She always travels by train. Wow, very good, kids. Now, let's go with number four. A, B, C, or D? All right, okay, anybody else? 
Come on, kids, don't be shy. Excellent, yes. The correct answer is B. Pretty good, congratulations to you. Excellent, thank you. All right, now let's go to the next part. You know what? I think that whenever we go to the doctor, the doctor is interested in finding the problems that we have with our health. And of course, the questions that the doctor does are all of the time related to our habits. For example, the doctor may ask, Okay, Maggie, you feel badly. Tell me, Maggie, how often, how often do you uh, drink plain water, for example? How often do you drink plain water? Okay, that could be a question. Oh my, oh my, I'm sorry. Often, okay. How often do you pl drink plain water? Okay, uh, Rafael, please, a question. How often do you drink plain water? Rafael, hello. Hello, hello teacher. All right. I, I always drink water. Hey, great. Thank you very much, Rafael. Okay, now let's suppose that you are the doctor and you are going to ask the question about health, okay? Yes, teacher. What could it be? Okay, the question is, how often do you eat fish? Hey, that's great. And who is your patient? My patient is... Patricia Sandoval, teacher. Thank you. Patty. I'm here. Okay, let's answer the doctor's question. Yeah. How often do you go to the hospital? Uh, okay, but you know what? We are going to answer the question that Rafael yeah. did to you. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Well, uh, Rafael. Yes. Your question, please. Okay. Yeah, please. How often do you train basketball? Oh, I never play basketball. Mm. Hi. <laughs> well, I like basketball, but I, I don't play. When my child was with me, oh, we play basketball, but, but now no. All right. Thank you very much, Patty. But, okay. But good question. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Now, Patty, you are the doctor. Choose a patient. Okay. My patient is Miguel. Right. What's the question, doctor? Yeah. How often do you uh, to do exercise? Miguel? Patient, hello. Miguel. Don't be shy. Well, Miguel. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because we have to. We have to, Miguel. Yeah, we have to. Sorry. Uh, yes. M A G. Okay. Thank you. Good. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm. I'm. Never. Never exercise. Really. I never exercise. Uh -oh. uh, I am, I am working, I am, I am work. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
<laughs> All right, thank you. Okay, Dr. Miguel, who is your patient and what is your question? Question. Uh, Betty. Thank you. Okay, what's the question, doctor? How often do you do do you uh, how often do you go to the supermarket? I go to the supermarket once a month. All right, thank you. Okay, Dr. Betty, who is your patient and what's the question? Uh, my patient is Miros. Okay. <laughs> and the question um, is? question is, how often do you eat fruit? I eat fruit every day. Very good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Dr. Miros, who is your patient and what's the question? Um, Uriel. Um, how often do you um, play the football, football soccer? Uriel, hello. Uriel Salazar. Don't be shy. Don't sleep. Don't go. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Uriel. How often do you play the football soccer? I play every week football soccer. Oh, okay. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay, Dr. Uriel, who is your patient and what's the question? Um, my patient is Luz Ramirez. And my question is, how often do you listen to music? All right. I, Thank you. I always listen to music. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right, Dr. Luz, who is your patient and what's the question? How often do you run in the park? Who? Who? Um, Corina. All right, thank you. Ah, me puse muy nerviosa. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry. Corina. Hello. Yes, sorry. Uh, can you repeat me the, the question, please? How often do you run in the park? Oh, the park. Uh, no, never. I have no time. All right. Thank you, Corina. Okay, Dr. Corina, who is your patient and what is the question? Uh, the patient, um, Jesse Jimenez. All right, thank you. Uh, uh, how often did you go to run? Hello, Jesse. Good night. Me podría repetir nuevamente la pregunta? Yes, of course. How often do you have to run? No entiendo la última parte de la pregunta. Uh, how often do you go to run? Or how often do you run? Teacher, ¿me puede apoyar? No entiendo. ¿Me lo podría decir en español? Claro. Sí, dice que qué tan a menudo corres. ¿Qué tan a menudo vas a correr? Oh, never. All right. Okay. Thank you very much, Jesse. Jesse. Who is your patient and what's the question? My patient. 
atención. Sería Lima Núñez. Ok, and what's the question? Uh, how often do you go for a walk? Uh -huh. Oh, great, thank you. Uh, okay, I always um, walk um, from the work. Um, ¿Cómo se dice, teacher? Camino al trabajo, camino al gimnasio. Uh, in my commute. In my commute. In my commute. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, eh, pero sería, I always. Ajá. Uh -huh. In, I always walk in my commute to work. Ah, okay, okay. I always walk in my commute to work. All right. Hey, pretty good. Thank you. Thank you very much, Christy. All right. Dr. Christy, who's your patient? Um, Er Adega. Okay, thank you. Uh, how often do you read the newspaper? Uh, hi, Er. Uh, repeat, please, again. Okay. How often do you read the newspaper. Ah, okay. Um, <laughs> um, I never read the newspaper. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So, please, doctor, who's your patient? Uh, um, yeah. um, A G. Okay. M A G Miguel. Uh, wait, you know what? Miguel has already spoken, but here we have Miguel A G H. He hasn't spoken yet. Okay. Right. And what's the question? Uh, Miguel A G H. Ah. Él? Sí. He? Okay. Um, how often do you go to? Okay. Hi. Good, good night. How often do you go tonight? Okay. My question is: How often do you go to exercise class? I I know I I, I never and um, exercise a, a, a class. Uh, I I never go to exercise class. I I never. Mm, that's it. Uh, never. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you very much. I don't. I don't know who's missing. Is anybody missing? All right. Look at this. Now let's go to another part. I think that it is not only important to do exercise, to eat well, to drink water, to sleep well, but also to have fun, because having fun is a relaxing time that we can uh, get advantage to feel well, to feel healthy. So my question is this, uh, why don't you talk to us how often do you have any spare time activity? For example, in my case, I uh, frequently uh, dance wapango. That's the way I, I have fun. That's my spare time activity. So, what about you? Why, why don't you help me writing in the chat? What is your spare time activity? Or how do you relax? 
I'll never dance with Pango. <laughs> oh, but maybe you go to the cinema or maybe you play soccer or go to swim or stay in bed and listen to music. Or maybe you watch television. Okay, let's write. Okay, Dolores, pretty good. I often go for a walk with my pet. Excellent, Dolores. That's wonderful. Anybody else? Come on, kids. Rafael, I always train basketball. Hey, that's great. Pretty good. Anybody else? Come on, kids. Don't be shy. Christina, very good. I frequently practice swimming three times a week. Very good. Luz, I often visit my grandmother. Excellent. Miguel AGH, I always go to work for... <laughs> That's it, Miguel. Yes, to be able to eat. Yes, that's it. Patty, I go for a walk with my husband. A, a walk or a wallet? Wallet means cartera. Okay, Betty, I read every day and embroider. Wow, beautiful. Jose Mendoza, I always run in the park. Excellent. Rafael, I always go to the baker shop. Mmm, delicious. And Patty, <laughs> it's okay, Patty. Angel, I usually go for the park, go to the park for running. Good. Tere, I dance every Saturday, Jarabe Tapatio. Wow, beautiful. All right, come on, kids. Don't be shy. Let's write. Rafael, very good question. When do you go to the bake shop? The baker shop, okay. Corina, I usually walk. Dolores, I always use the stairs when I go in the office. Excellent. Uh, Jesse, I often go to yoga class and prepare rich cakes, delicious cakes. Mmm, good. Miros, I go to the once a month. Okay. Eric, I always sleep in the night. That's too good. Miguel, I always on Wednesday. I every um, it could be I attend to an online English class uh, on Wednesdays. Hey, Miguel, thank you. Very good. I always sing in the bathroom. Wow. Hey, that's great. Very good, Dolores. But the, I like to go to the movies too. Wow, very good. Hey, that's wonderful. Okay, so Christina, I always listen to music. Mm, you know what, Christina? It's okay, but in this case, you are using a frequency adverb and a time expression. So one of them is not necessary. You can say, I always listen to music or I listen to music every day. Okay, Miguel, I always like, uh, I like to... Uh, I like to listen to Miss Maggie every day. <laughs> it's okay, Miguel. Thank you. Teresita, I never write the how. Uh, in this case, it could be Teresita, I never write home. Nunca este, ando en bici o ando en moto para ir a casa. Is it like this? Thank you, Christy. 
I never sleep without hugging my daughter. Oh, that's beautiful. Misael, I go to the gym three times a week. Horse, ah, I never ride a horse. Okay, Teresita, I never ride a horse. Good, Rafael, I sometimes go to walk with my puppy. Hey, that's wonderful, that's beautiful. Pretty good. Okay, you know what? Now, finally, as the last activity, I would like you to share, to speak to your classmates and say voluntarily, uh, what do you usually have for breakfast? For example, in my case, I usually have a tea of, a, a cup of tea and a piece of fruit. I frequently drink coffee and I never, I never drink milk. That's uh, the use for me for breakfast. Um, any volunteer? Volunteers, hello. Don't be shy. Me. All right, we we'll listen to you, Miros. Hi. Um, um, in the morning, I break everyday fruits, um, drink coffee three, three times in the week. Um, frequently very fast, um, bread, span. Aha, uh -huh, that's it. Bread, uh, three, three times in the week. And the other day is very common, a sandwich or quesadilla. <laughs> Hey, that's, that's great, Miros. Thank you very much. Betty, please talk to us. Um, I usually breakfast is a sandwich, a Yakult, um, sometimes cup of tea. I never drink coffee because I'm sick. Um, sometimes it's fruit or yogurt. Hey, that's great. Thank you, Betty. All right, Dolores, please talk to us. Um, I never drink coffee uh, without a chocolate donut. Oh, hey, that's great. All right, anybody else? Come on. Okay, Dolores. Ah, Christy. Uh, I usually in the breakfast ate a sandwich, a cup of coffee, and cookies. Mm, delicious. Thank you, Christy. Thank you very much. All right. Any other volunteer? Yes, teacher. All right. In, All my, right. in my breakfast, breakfast, I always drink coffee. And sometimes tea of lemon mm. and two eggs and mm, how do you say tocino, teacher? Bacon. Bacon? Bacon. bacon. Hey, that's great. Delicious. All right. Thank you, Rafael. Anybody else? Come on, kids. Don't be shy. Can I? Oh, yes, of course. I always, okay, I always bring chocolate in my breakfast. Delicious. Thank you very much, Patty. All right, anybody else? Uh, I usually breakfast, drink coffee, and tacos. Oh, delicious. Wow. <laughs> That's great. Okay, anybody else? 
me, teacher. All right. I usually breakfast, coffee, and the steak, o steak, ¿cómo se pronuncia? S-T-U. S-T-W. Stu. Stu of the previous day. Hey, that's great. Thank you very much. It's, I always have a, it, ETC for breakfast. All right, Jesse, thank you very much. Anybody else? Don't be shy, don't sleep, don't go. Um, I'm so fine. All right. Karina? Uh -huh. I, I usually drink a cup of tea in the morning before the work, and after that, a piece of bread and coffee. Hey, thank Sometimes. you. Thank you very much, Corina. All right, Tere, please, we listen to you. Thank you, teacher. Um, I sometimes eat uh, apple, always drink a coffee, and every day eat um, the torta. <laughs> mm, that's great. Excellent, thank, thank you very much. All right, you know what? Here I have a lot of messages. Uh, here they say, Rafael wrote, sometimes, I sometimes drink, drink tea, I always drink milk and coffee in the dinner, I often eat two hot dogs or classic Mexican torta of jamón, mmm, that's delicious, Tere, I always drink a coffee, good, Dolores, I never go for a walk without my daughter and my pet, we always go together, the three, we three. Oh, good. All right. Thank you very much. That's participation. Jose, please, what do you think about it? Uh, Misael, please, what do you think? Talk to us about your uh, breakfast. Hi. Uh, usually in my breakfast, uh, I cook a pair of eggs and drink coffee. That's great. Thank you, Jose. You're welcome. Okay, anybody else? Don't be shy. Hello, Angel? Uh, yes. I usually my very fax uh, tea, a uh, cup of tea. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and and often um, tacos or molletes. Wow, delicious! <laughs> hey, that's a delicious breakfast. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Anybody else? Ah, uh, here I have Patty said. I never drink wine or beer. All right, good. Okay. Anybody else? Come on. Misael, hello. All right. I don't know if you want to say anything or if you want to ask any question. No, do anybody of you want to say anything? All right, thank you very much. So I thank you so much for your participation, for your attention, and for your attendance today. I wish you have a very good night. Oh, here, um, my usual breakfast is milk with bread and eggs, Mexican style. Mmm, delicious. All right, thank you. Okay. Everybody have a very good night, uh, sleep, rest, and meet you next class. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night, everybody. Have a nice everyone. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.